All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Houston Rockets Daily. Uh, the Rockets lost last night at home to the Dallas Mavericks, and, you know, I'm actually quite pleased because the Houston Rockets were looking pretty good. I mean, we still are looking pretty good, but, like, after that win against the Lakers, I'm thinking, uh-oh, Rockets might rattle off, like, five straight. Dallas is on fire, dude. Dallas is a phenomenal basketball team, and uh, they got the job done, but... You know, really what I wanted to talk about in tonight's video, today's video, is Steven Silas because of his minutes. I mean, basically none of the starters really played in the fourth quarter. I I mean, it to start the fourth, the Rockets were down about, I think it was 24, it might be 23 or 25. You know, they're down a good chunk. I can't, like, I genuinely can't think of a single team in the NBA where you're down less than 25 points. You're not at least throwing some type of starters in because here's the thing last night's game was interesting because you know maybe you can make like a somewhat argument like let's give these guys some rest and you know let's start the fourth quarter with the bench unit which is what happened well the bench unit went off you know we had bruno fernando who i'm probably gonna make a video on right after this go eight of eight 16 points 11 rebounds in only 23 minutes he had like five dunks too so you have bruno go off you have David Nwaba chip in with seven. You have Garrison Matthews chip in with seven. You have uh, Dennis Schroeder chip in with three and seven assists. And then you have Josh Christopher continue his hot streak and drop 17. So it was like, a, it was, I can't remember the exact amount, but heading into like the final five minutes of the game, it was totally feasible. Like I, I have actually no idea why he decided to go with guys like and i don't have anything against dacia nix and i don't have anything against the bench obviously I, I feel like you know i didn't even need to mention that but like you have less than 15 point it was a less than 15 point game with about four or five minutes left and there are still no starters it just genuinely didn't make any sense so Jalen green finishes the game with 27 minutes Shen Goon finishes the game with 20 minutes. Granted, he dealt with foul trouble. KPJ, 26 minutes. Eric Gordon, 21. KJ, thankfully, got 30 minutes, only 11 points, six rebounds for him as he shot a pretty tough 0 of 4 from downtown, which is pretty rare from KJ. But it's just like, I'm watching this, thinking, dude, put in the damn starters. Like, oh, I don't even care. Like, I'm not even trying to win this basketball game. I'm trying to watch guys like KPJ, Jalen Green, Alpern Shengu. I'm trying to see these guys play basketball. So, and we've talked about Silas all freaking season, dude. And I'm getting sick of talking about this guy. I have all these fucking bites from Florida on my arms. I'm getting so sick and tired of talking about Steven Silas on this damn team, dude. He's not the guy to me. Like, like, whatsoever is he the guy? And I don't mean to say he's not a good NBA coach. Because when I make Steven Silas videos, I'll come out and say, I'll be like, I don't think Silas is like a bad necessarily coach. He, I think he's talented. I think he's a good offensive mind. Defensively, we've had nothing all year. Nothing whatsoever. For some odd reason, we can't make a damn free throw. It's the entire team. It used to be like, Things, it used to be guys like Christian Wood, maybe KPJ, they'd miss like a couple free throws in a game and it'd, you know, fuck up our percentage. It's the whole team. Like, it is literally the whole team. Another night last night, 12 of 19, 63.2%. It, it's just terrible. I mean, in a game where you have 11 turnovers, which, as crazy as it seems, isn't that many for this young, gunning, quick, fast paced Houston Rockets team, we could have won this game. I mean, we legitimately could have won this game. Fourth quarter came alive in the fourth, I guess. But 63.2% from the free throw line, like, do you not practice free throws in, in practice? Like, I, like, are you just, do we just completely forget about free throws? I don't understand. It's gone on the entire season, and it's made absolutely no sense. We also are in a good three-point shooting team. Um, there's plenty of three-point shooters on the team. K.J. Martin, um, Eric Gordon. KPJ's having a good year from downtown. Jalen Green's been hot from downtown. Um, you know, Schroeder can make threes for sure. Christopher can make threes for sure. Garrison Matthews, that's like why we have him. Um, you know, last night, six of, six of 30, 20%. And it's just the whole season, we've been a sloppy, heavy turnover team. We can never make free throws and we can never make threes. 
And it's honestly usually when we make our threes and we make our free throws, like we win the basketball game. Like sometimes it is that cut and dry. Uh, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. What I think a lot of people are starting to realize as well right now is it might just be time to search in a different direction for Christian Wood. Um, you know, my concerns are, you know, my concerns aren't necessarily Shangun related. Um, you know, I feel like we kind of overhype him a little bit. Like, I think Shangun is a good basketball player, but I think, like, I, I see where the Rockets are coming from where you're not trying to unload Christian Wood quite yet because it's like, well, is Shangun the guy? Like, you know, Christian Wood might not be the guy, but is, is Shangun? Like, because Christian Wood at the end of the day is averaging 18 and 10. Just averaging 18 and 10. But I would say, as far as like long term goes, that's the issue is Christian Wood's a good basketball player. He's averaging 18 and 10. He's going to have to get paid. Someone's going to have to pay him. And um, my guess is if we don't pay him, some other team will. Like some other team will be happy to pay Christian Wood, probably a rebuilding fringe type playoff team where you're like, they're very young. They're looking for kind of that guy to just boost their roster, bolster their roster. Christian Wood's that guy. Um, you know, I, I keep watching March Madness right now. I guess it's not technically March Madness as the tournament hasn't started technically, but um, I look at guys like Banchero. I'm looking at guys like Chet. I'm looking at guys like Jabari. I'm, I mean, Jabari is my number one pick. If the Houston Rockets get Jabari, I will be so damn excited. But, you know, we'll probably have Christian Wood next season. Um, it's just going to, you know, this draft's probably going to be a little bit complicated. The only thing is, keep in mind, if Shangun only starts when Christian Wood is out, like, I don't, I would imagine Shangun isn't going to be, like, starting the, on the starters for opening day next year. You know, as, as tough as a pill that may be to swallow, I mean, he's still very young. He's still 19 years old. Um, you know, he's still acclimating to the NBA as all these other rookies are. And so I would imagine, like, it, it doesn't really matter who we draft as far as, like, positions go. You know, if you get Jabari, if you get Chet, if you get Paolo, like, all three of those guys would start. They'd just start alongside Christian Wood. You know, maybe if you get... Um, I've seen a lot of stuff about like Paolo or Jabari being the three in, high, in, in the NBA and maybe you'd put Tate at the four again. Uh, we'll see what happens. You know, it's not really worth stressing over. It's not really even worth thinking about, to be honest. Just kind of sit back, enjoy the ride, enjoy March Madness and uh, get excited for the draft, right? Let's keep hoping for more losses. As tough as losses like this are, especially when it's like due to a stupid ass coach, um, you know, they sting a little bit more just because it's like you want to see things differently and it like gone on the whole season like we've wanted different things um but these are the way it is and it's you know not that bad you know it really isn't that bad we're seeing a lot of josh christopher we just got you know a lot of minutes from fernando which is exciting um you know kj's been starting shangun has been getting his starts and uh kpj jalen green for the most part have been feasting so still don't really know why eric gordon's playing uh basketball games for us but i guess He'll probably be shut down, honestly, at some point relatively soon. So it's not really worth getting rattled at either. So hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button for daily Houston Rockets content. All my socials are in the link and I will, or in the bio. And I will see y'all later.